Man, it's getting hot in here, huh? I'm sweating! My armpits are sweating! Froggy has nothing to go back to. I don't either. Hi, I just want to start off by saying I know my voice sounds weird. It's been giving me trouble for the past few days, so sorry about that. But with that out of the way, this is Froggy Paw. I've heard of it like once before. And I've seen the thing for it, and like it's cute and everything, but it's also kind of like that existential, like dread type stuff. It might not be exactly that, but it's somewhere in the line of that because I didn't want to get too much spoiled of what it was. It's just the art style is adorable, and I wanted to do this. So. With me, like, done stalling and everything, let's start. Froggy is sleeping soundly. The pot. It's warm and cozy now. Your sweater's gonna get wet. Just soggy sweater. Ugh. Soggy socks. Ugh. Gross. But, it will come to a boil eventually. It will be dangerous, so please help convince Froggy to get out of the pot soon. I'm counting on you. Oh no, this is not. I'm so bad at convincing others of anything. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, let's start with simple. I want to go simple. Whoa. Hello? Why are you in a pot? Why am I in a pot? Why are you here? Mm. Fair point. I was having such a nice nap and you woke me up. Oh, look at the eyes! Oh, Sorry for disturbing you. Apology accepted. That was fast. <laughs> Relax, it's all good. Anyway, I'm just waiting for the water to heat up. It's nice and warm. You tired? Why don't you join me? The pot will come to a boil soon. Will you come out? Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll get out eventually. That's how it is. That's how it is. I just want to relax for a bit. Once it gets too hot, I'll get out for sure. Yeah. I doubt that. Are there oranges in there? Is that orange slices? Or am I just losing my mind? How long have you been in there? I don't know, but it must have been quite a while now. But oh man, I'm so tired. Some days are just like that. I don't want to do anything, you know? Yeah, I feel you. I'm sure you understand, right? Absolutely. Anyway, what about you? So, uh, how's your day been? Oh! I'm feeling really happy, it's alright, same as usual, I have a rough day. What is this, a mood sir? No, I don't want to be rude. It's alright, same as usual, same as usual. That's nice. There's something peaceful about the unchanging present. Yeah. Every day is the same. It might be a little boring, but... Having a routine or something to do isn't so bad, I think. Yeah, at least you know what to expect every day. Hmm, the pot is getting pretty cozy. I feel it getting a little warmer. Wanna join? Uh, that's blasphemy. <laughs> Why are you wearing a jacket and water? That's blasphemy! Blasphemy! But no thanks, you should really get out. Party pooper. Says you, dumbass. No, <laughs> I'm don't. I'm not rude. I don't want to be rude. You don't know how comfy it is to just sit in here. The world cold and hard, but in here warm and cozy. Yeah. You coming closer to me or something? If I get out, I have to return to being a responsible adult. Sigh. 
You can't run away forever. It's not going to be that bad. What kind of responsibilities? You're an adult. You look like a child. A child, I say. Uh, it's not going to be that bad. Yeah, well, how do you know for sure? It's so much comfier in here. <laughs> Jeez, who are you anyways? Uh, I'm your fucking mother. Shut the fuck up. I just say that to my kid. <laughs> this is why I'm not going to have kids. Uh, I'm going to be staying cozied up in here. So, look, just leave me alone in peace, will you? No. I shall torment you until the day you die. Guess you aren't leaving. Why don't we talk about something else? So anything you like to do? Hmm, doing creative things, playing games, too busy nowadays, do anything. My hobbies are beyond your puny mortal comp- My hobbies are beyond your puny mortal comprehension. You will never understand my voice. My voice just went horrible at that. I should never do that again. I like doing creative things. Oh, like art and music? The power of imagination and creating something all by yourself. Yeah, I, I dabble in some art. <laughs> dabble? To realize something from nothing? That's pretty awesome, huh? I guess you can say, <laughs> I'm awesome. <laughs> That's pretty poggy of you. <laughs> That's pretty poggers of you. Aha! Poggy? Speaking of creative, I'm recently into the genre of isekai. Ah! Isekai! Yes! I love yes! You know, being transformed magically into a fantasy world different from ours? Yes! I understand that! Finally, someone who watches anime. Isekai, it... It could be a bit better genre with the kind of enemies we got, but like, that's a step, that's a step forward to watching a lot of anime, I, I agree with you. If only I can go to a different world too. Same, I want to have magical powers and kill people. Or, or not, or not, no, I can help, help people. I'll help people. That sounds nice, it's, it do sound nice. What about you? Any hobbies? Hmm, I like guitar. I can play the guitar. The air guitar. But I'm cheap. In fact, I was playing a song just this morning. I wrote it myself. I'm very proud of it. Oh, can I hear it? Can I hear it? Can I hear it? Can I hear it? <laughs> I knew what I was gonna say. No! I mean, you didn't have to fucking snap at me, but okay. It's not good enough yet. It has breaks all over and it doesn't really follow any beats. Well, at least it has a good beginning, I think. It's better than what I can come up with, which is just a guitar riff. <laughs> not that you'd be able to hear it anyway. <laughs> Shut up. All right, another thing I love doing is origami. Yes, yes, I feel you on this one. I feel you. I've always done origami forever. Whenever I got free time and whenever I want to just fiddle with something, I always make lucky stars. They're the easiest shit to do and so cute and fun. Yes. Am I friends with a game character? It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> they say if you fold a thousand cranes, your wish will come true. Honestly? I would do that. I need the proper paper, but I will legit do that. Hmm? Oh. I don't have a wish if that's what you're asking. I did not ask that, but okay, yes. Do I need to have a wish? Uh, not necessarily. Not really. Hmm. So I've never thought about what I wish for if given the chance. True. Like, I don't like being on the spot. Like, ask the question on the spot that I have to think of. Like, those kind of questions. Because it's like, 
right now, it's like different from what I would want later on. You know? Why don't you make a wish now? That's a neat idea. Hmm. I guess my wish would be to always be with the one I love. I suppose. But that's tricky, my dude. It could always change. Uh, snap up real quick. I can't snap, but snap. Boom. But I don't know if that's possible right now. Why not? Maybe when my time is up too, we'll reunite in the sky. Oh, like little stars. Or wherever dead people go. Yeah. In the ground. It's something. Sorry. Didn't bring didn't mean to bring the mood down. Eh. Though, I still have so much to do, and yet, I'm just lying here. Floating away. Sigh. I'm sure they would want you to live well. I'm sure she would Ooh, who is she? Who is she? Is she better than me? God damn. Probably. <laughs> the post. <laughs> Whoa! The person most important to me goes by the name Sap. Oh, who are you, Sap? Okay. I have someone named Sap, too. I know someone with that name. <laughs> Sure, I do too. It's probably not the same person that we're talking about, but like, I know someone named Sap. <laughs> Please, get out of the pot. I'm sorry, I can't. Yes, you can! I don't know why. When I'm in here, my knees feel weak and arms spaghetti. Mom spaghetti! I just can't move. I just can't. What? Well, I want you to get out soon. I haven't seen the sky in a while. Do you not have a sky? Is there no... Th there's no sky? Okay. Speaking of the sky, I always wanted to go to space. Yes, I love space! Oh my god! This is why I have no friends, and the only friends I will ever have are video game characters. It's sad to see. It's so sad. I wanted to be an astronaut. I want to be an astronaut. Me too. Even though I might be scared of going into space, but I want to be an astronaut. But that seems too hard. Yeah, too much work to do. So instead, I fold paper planes and dream of the skies. Oh, you're still here? I ain't going nowhere, baby! It's boiling! It's boiling! This must be incredibly boring for you. It's boiling! I'm sorry. Boy, you finna burn up. I didn't think you'd stay this long. I didn't either. Oh, there's gray smoke in the background! You're burning! Maybe... It's time for you to leave. No! Man, it's getting hot in here, huh? I'm sweating! My armpits are sweating! Froggy, why won't you leave this pot? I... I know I've got to get out soon. But even if I go back, what will I do? Back to work, the hustle, the grind, all that? It's about power. It's about drive. Mmm! And to what end? And at the end of the day, no one is there to share my days with. So we both lonely. Mm-hmm, I knew that. I knew it was true. No one anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm tired. I am too. I didn't get sleep. If passion is a candle, mine burnt out a long time ago. I don't think mine was ever lit. Ah! Still, no good would come... Of staying here. The world that awaits me outside this pot. 
Do I really belong there? You know, everyone I know is so different from me. They have their passions and dreams, but I don't really have any. So I'm just over here just doing what I'm doing. Hopefully it's something good, but I wouldn't know until later on. Yep, being with Sap made me happy. Sap made me a better person. Yeah, I know a Sap too! Sappy shit. Oh! I know it shouldn't be this way. But Sap was my passion, in a sense. Sap saw value in the things I did and encouraged me. And then there was one more person in this world with me. Who? Me is me. But now that Sap's gone, I don't know what to do anymore. So it ain't me? Sap passed away from illness about a year ago. Oh. I don't know a Sap either. I don't I don't know a Sap. I was I was lying. <clears throat> this is awkward. Since then I've been in stagnation. These days I just wa wait, wad through life without much meaning. But lying in here brings me some comfort, at least. Tell me, is that wrong? Mm. Honestly, I say no because I've done that multiple times before because of <laughs> depression. <laughs> but it's not good. Um, do you think I'm letting my fem- Oh, shit! <laughs> It's a question I didn't want to come. It's something that's been on my mind lately. I feel like I am, but they say it's okay, it's fine, take your time, but I feel like I'm taking too long. I gotta rush this shit, rush hour, and do something. But I don't know. Even though Sap's gone, my family are still relying on me back home. But here I am, just staying here, not doing anything. It's as if time stops when I'm in this pot. No more worries, no more troubles. They're expecting great things of me. If they found out about my situation right now, they would be devastated. They'd surely be disappointed in me. I don't know! <laughs> this is some shit I should say to myself, but yet I ignore it and like, tell everyone but don't worry you're not and then i just get nothing back like okay oh shit i mean like you have to think about your own happiness too but then like what is true happiness <laughs> i'm not laughing i'm just it's my coping mechanism it's so funny <laughs> but i don't know what happiness looks like to me. <laughs> yeah. Sap used to be here, and I was happy then. But not anymore. Do you think I can still be happy on my own? I don't know what makes me happy. I don't know, but it never hurts to try. If you don't leave this pot, you'll never know. You have to find happiness from within. <sighs> if you don't leave this pot, you'll never know. Yeah, that was true, but if I get out of the pot, will there be anything worth going back to? When I meet my friends, they'll ask how my job is going, if I'm doing something exciting. But I don't have anything to talk about, other than my hamster, I suppose. I want a hamster. They're fat, chubby little things, just riding on the wheels. He's kind of old, but he's still killing it at the wheel. I love when their fat legs just... <laughs> run, run, run. When I meet my family, they'll ask me about the things I've achieved over the year. And I'd say nothing. <laughs> How am I supposed to tell them I've done nothing? My life has remained the same. Time is slipping away. At my age, everyone else has already moved on. But I'm stuck here. My cat is at my door. I'll still be here for you. Please, don't say that. <laughs> we met a few minutes ago. How much could you possibly know about- ENOUGH ABOUT IT! Enough! 
that we can be friends because I need more friends I'm lonely please ultimately what happens to froggy is inconsequential to you but I care about you because you'll continue to live and exist and life will go on for you regardless you'll eventually forget about froggy in due time I'm just a passing froggy in the pot but you'll always be my froggy in a pot you just want to be happy you say frog yes well i mean uh that's not how i want to i feel like if i go on with the care about you he's still gonna be like no you really don't <sighs> i really need to force him out of the pot though But I want him to be happy. If you really wanted to save me, you would have pulled me out of the pot. If you really wanted to save me, you would have tried to turn the heat off. I can't! I don't know how! If you really wanted, you would come here right now, but I don't know how! Stupid! I don't know! But you just said they're talking to me, asking me to get out, but I don't know how! But you don't do anything! I don't know how! You're not my friend, you're just a stranger, I know! But we can be more! You're not sap! I know I'm not! I'm sorry! Froggy has nothing to go back to. I don't either! Passion, love, happiness, wishes... Such things are fleeting for Froggy. Yet despite my flawed self... I found someone who accepted me and loved me. Yes! Yes! But even they are not here anymore. But you meet them in due time! So, tell me, how should I... How should I continue to exist? I don't know! You're asking the wrong person! I don't know! I don't know. Of course you don't. I'm sorry. Because... You or me? Ah! The person I've been talking to is myself, is it? Isn't it? Convincing myself to get out of the pot with words Sap used to tell me. Holding on to the tiny pieces of heart she gave me. Coming up with reasons to continue trying. Every day I tell myself to get out of this pot. It should be so easy. So why is it so hard? I don't fucking know! I'm truly hopeless, aren't I? No, you're not! It's not like I don't try. I don't want to stay like this. But every time I... I think, what if I get out of the pot and I do my best and things don't change? What if it doesn't get better after all? You're gonna fucking make me cry! I would end up feeling worse than if I never got out. Is that kind of world worth going back to? So I end up talking to myself, consoling myself like this to get out of the pot. But I'm here. Froggy seems to think you aren't real, that you're just imaginary. Please. Hey, I'm not you. Huh? I am me and you are you. You aren't talking to yourself. You have a hamster, but I sure don't. I don't. What do you mean? You are not alone here. I'm here with you. You, you say you're real. I'm not just talking to myself the whole time. No, I'm here! I'm here for you! But if you say, but if so, how come I can't see you? I don't know. You're just a voice, so I must be imagining things. You're not. I must be so far gone, I've started hallucinating or something. If you really are weir real, come here right now. I wish I can, but I physically cannot enter your world. Ah! You're saying you're not from this world? No! No! I don't understand. 
I want to help you, but I cannot come to your world. I so talking is the only thing I can do. I I see. But you're just someone I met a few minutes ago. Why do you care what happens to Froggy? Because we have so much in common. Oh, do I need a reason to care? Oh, that was a that was the right thing to say instead. You know, that's what Sap told me when we first met. I had nothing to offer her, but she cared. Maybe I had it wrong the whole time. If you say you are real, I am. Prove it. How? Prove to me that you're here. How do I do it? How? I don't know. If you were me, you wouldn't know how either. Please tell me. Tell me I'm not alone. It seems like Froggy isn't fully convinced. Froggy can't see me, but there's one thing I can do. What? I can tell Froggy my- OH! OH! AH! AH! I'm Eric. <laughs> That's my name. Yes! So you really are from another world, Error. YES! You're real. <laughs> Sniffle. Right in the flesh I am. I just told you my name. How can you be so... Wait. What? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I'm actually just in your head. Actually, I don't even remember your name. <laughs> it's not, but right in the flesh I am! <laughs> Man. Jeez. This sure is a long day. I don't know if I have the strength to face the outside world right now. I'm still afraid of messing up. One's perfect. I see. Um, do you think it will get better after I go back? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, of course. You aren't <laughs> that word. Clairvoyant. I think I got that right. Haha. <laughs> I suppose there really is no way of knowing. That'd be life. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. Can Froggy ask you something? Yes! What is it, my precious child? Are we friends? Are yes! Of course. Thank you, Error. And sorry for calling you a stranger just now. Don't worry, your pretty little head. Do not worry. Sigh. I've been here long enough. Well, it's about time I get out of the pot. Yes! That was cheesy. Having someone to talk to. That isn't myself. I feel a little better. Back into a world of uncertainty I go. I will most definitely feel hopeless again once I leave this pot. Yes! But I has to go on! If, even if there isn't meaning, I suppose. At the very least, I still have to take care of Ham Ham. Oh my god! Their name is Ham Ham! I love that! That is some shit I would name my hamster. My hamster. I knew. I, I, yeah. Thank you for talking to me. You're welcome! It's been a while since I talked to someone other than myself. Froggy has been living alone for so long now, away from my family. And Sap. You mean Sap again? I know it! I don't know if life will get any easier and less confusing, but I suppose I can't stay here forever. You know. Sap once told me, what did she tell you, huh? A pebble that lies on the shore of a beach doesn't need a reason to be there. It just is. It just exists. But it doesn't make it any less of a pebble. No, it doesn't! So I guess for now, it's okay for me to simply exist too. Until the day I can be happy again. Until then, I'll get out of the pot for now. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Error. Though you are so far away, Froggy will always be cheering you on. Thank you, Finn. <laughs> Hi, hello! I can't. Can Sue Mori? Can't. No, no, that's not how you pronounce it. Oops, sorry. The creative Froggy Pot. Yes, I'm sorry I messed up your name. Ah, uh, or rather, I'm Cantu. Cantu? Cantu? What? You're Can. A robot bunny acting as a vessel for my creator. But well, you can treat me and can as the same person, really. 
Though to be honest, I wrote in this section, even though the game is over. But I'm not quite sure what to say. I don't want to say it! Ah, you notice, my body looks kind of, uh, wonky. Wonky. Ugh, I knew I should have asked for some colors. Then and again, we did run out of budget for the spray paint. Ugh. Without color, my body is in such a sorry state. <laughs> Sniffle. My lines look like they're about to fall apart like my ego right now. Mm! I felt that! Sigh. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry about that. I do wish I could have met you in a more presentable form. You cool? I ain't the best. I'm sweating. I ain't the best either. But for now, this will do. It's alright. One day I'll get an upgrade for sure. Ah, uh, next time be prepared for my new marvelous form! With color! In a few years. Maybe. Possibly. One day I'll finally be able to save up enough to get a nicer form. But wait, that's not the point of me coming here. Did I get a good ending? I'm here because I just want to tell you, did I get a good ending? Thank you for playing. Oh, you're welcome. It was a good game. I really liked it. And, uh... You have my best wishes. Thank you. Farewell. Ah, my heart! I hope that was a good ending. I really do hope that was a good ending. But goddamn, I'm sweating like a pig right now. Do pigs even sweat? Do they sweat? Oh my god, do animals sweat? I don't know. But I'm sweating. This game gave me questions that I didn't want to think about, but I thought about it and everything. Oh my god, I just realized they are cranes! On the screen, origami cranes! There's like gotta be a thousand at least. So make a wish. Make a wish, everyone, make a wish. Okay, it's done. I don't know what I wish for. To not be sweaty. Because this is bothering me so much. But thank you again. I don't know how to s say the name. But I'm just going to call you Can. This was a great game. I really do loved it. What? I really did love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? My mouth malfunctioned. Whatever. Anyways. Hopefully... That was a good ending. I really hope it was. It seemed like it was, but then again, who knows? Maybe there's a bad ending. Is there a bad ending? Should I get a bad ending? I don't want to get a bad ending, but I want to get the bad ending. I'll think about it later. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching, and oh my god, this game was so good. I might have to go back and do the other answers that it goes to and see if froggy does not go out of the pot because i really want to know it's like a bad decision on my end but i really want to know if froggy stays in there and like something happens to him and sap i miss sap too i don't know who she was but i miss sap but besides that i'm done i'm out of here i'm sweating like crazy i'm gonna leave now so bye.